I plan to have two separate video styles on this channel. One will discuss topics specifically to do with chronic fatigue syndrome, the other will be more about philosophical responses to suffering. So this video is an introduction to a series that I wish to do that I'm going to call From Suffering to Affirmation. And within this series I'm going to aim to give an explanation to various philosophical ideas that have helped me deal with the idea of suffering. When chronically ill, or just ill in general, I think it's very easy to get into negative feedback loops. You become conscious of your own symptoms and notice how these are holding you back from doing things you would otherwise do if you were healthy. This may be social, for instance it's no longer wise for you to go to the pub and see your friends, or it may be work or exercise related. The problem with this is that often doing small amounts of work, exercise or socialising is vital for overall well-being and consequently your recovery. The illness can quickly start becoming an excuse for why you can't do things. I know for example, if I am conscious of my symptoms, I can start to think my way out of things I am capable of doing, and then I feel guilty or useless for not doing the things I know that I could have done, and this makes me even more aware of my symptoms because I am in a bad mood. Next thing I know, I have essentially immobilised myself, because I am even more conscious of my symptoms and even less capable of doing the things that would help my overall well-being. And it's this, this negative feedback loop that ends up stopping me from getting better. So this series is called From Suffering to Affirmation because I aim to look at philosophy that has helped me break that negative feedback loop. Within this model of thinking, suffering is the negative feedback loop and affirmation represents a sense of mental well-being which will allow the loop to be broken. This isn't necessarily purely practical though. I am more focusing on philosophical issues that helped me reconceptualise my suffering into something more valuable or how to cope with philosophical issues that arise when you fall into a negative feedback loop. To some extent I think all of philosophy deals with this issue. Roughly speaking, philosophy represents a journey of a person or society that is flawed in some way and philosophy is used to make it better. So this is how I'm going to treat this series. I am a sick man who would like to be better in some way. Which philosophical issues and thinkers are relevant for this journey toward affirmation? Which thinkers and issues can help me break that feedback loop and reinstate my mental well-being? And what are some of the trials and tribulations I have felt along the way? If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, then feel free to tag along. Join me, the chronically fatigued chronic fatty.